you assess the first day, Joe? Um, I thought it was really good. Uh, I feel like both sides of the ball were both competing at really high levels. Uh, still getting the routine of everything, but I mean, for a first day of fall camp, you know, getting new guys, I thought it was really well. Did, you, did it surprise you that Jimbo didn't feel that way? Uh, yeah, at times, but you know, we're always going to be self-critical on himself. We know he's going to be self-critical, uh, but you know, there's always going to be room to grow, especially on both sides of the ball. And you know, I'm always self-critical of the offense, so you know, that doesn't surprise me. Kellen, last year you're you're one of the guys vying for that job. Now you're kind of the guy trying to fend off the other guys in the quarterback room. How much different is that this year? Um, it's a little bit different. You know, last year I was in a competition, but. You know, at the same time, I'm always going to be competing against myself. And, you know, it's always my job to, you know, try to help the other guys, the guys who aren't as experienced as me in this offense and uh, make sure they can, you know, continue to grow just like me. Well, you might be the guy. It didn't sound like Fisher was giving you any breaks out there. Um, as the quarterback, how, how does that make you feel that he, he's still on you day in and day out? Um, I mean, I, I really thank him for that. You know, he's always going to continue to push me. And um, just like I said at a media day, you know, even though if I do something right or wrong, he might still get on me. So um, just that constant pressure and, um, you know, he's always going to stay on me. And so, I mean, that's never going to get light or anything. So um, might as well get used to it. And, you know, I'm going to continue to grow with him as my quarterback coach. What about the defensive secondary this year that you've seen that you think will be able to make some strides and some improvements? Um, just a whole another year of experience. Uh, we got a lot of guys who have been three-year starters now, and really a lot of experience. Leon comes back uh, for a second year, and um, just a lot of depth too. So um, I really look forward to those guys being able to, you know, the second year in Coach Elko's system. And so I really look forward to them having a really good season. More balls on the ground than normal, especially when you were throwing the tight ends and we were out out there. Kind of unexpected, and what was going on, and that kind of how do you? Fix that going forward, um, just a little timing off, and you know, you know, in this offense, everything is to the inches, and you know, you always hear Coach Fisher talk about uh, fight for the inches. So, I mean, every everything is you know super precise and detailed. So, just a little off today, but you know, we get another day, and we'll continue to grow. How's that tight end race looking? Um, really good. I feel like all three of those guys are competing, and you know, really young group of guys. So. You know, some of them were able to look at Jace last year and, you know, still able to watch film of him and, you know, how he had success in this offense. So, um, you know, somebody's going to have to step up and, you know, we're looking forward to that. Kellen, at that position, just how much athleticism do you guys have at, at tight end? Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of athleticism. And, you know, everyone thought Jace was kind of a receiver and, you know, see, he could still block too, but, you know, he did a really good job on the receiving end. Um, but, you know, those guys are really athletic and, you know, have a lot of length. So, uh, being able to fit balls in tight windows and, you know, they're able to, you know, make really good catches with crazy range. What's it like going against Justin Matabuke in, in, on practice and any close calls with, with his aggressiveness back there? Um, I mean, he's one of the best players in the SEC and um, I think a lot of defenses will find that, that out this Our offenses will find that out this year. Um, I mean, he's a terror to deal with, but, you know, it's always going to make our offensive line better, so you can't, you can't ever complain. A little, little scary lineup against him out there? No, nah, <laughs> I don't get scared. <laughs> Kellen, in these first few practices, what are you trying to get done to make sure you're ready to go once the pads go on next week? Me personally, or, yes. or is it? Uh, just make sure my footwork is up to par, you know, something that I worked on all off season. Um, just still trying to make sure I'm connecting with the receivers and making sure my timing is right. Uh, you know, not just with the receivers, but, you know, tight ends and uh, just still working on my eyes and, you know, where my eyes should be with defense. So a lot of just small details that I worked on with the off season and got to continue to progress through the fall camp. A lot of your receivers were out for spring. How nice was it to have them back healthy and out there tonight? I mean, really good. I mean, pretty much everybody was out there and you know, getting the, some of those freshmen out there too is a really big thing. Uh, Nias and Dalen Wright had a really good day today, and you know they're only going to get better. Those like were there in, in the spring, going from spring to fall practice. Did you see that continuation that you'd like to see from one of the other? Uh, from the freshmen, or just as a whole. Just as a whole, as a team. Yes, I did, and uh, think that we're only going to get better. And you know, sl had some slip ups today. Um, uh, both offense and defense making mistakes, but you know it's the first day with you know getting guys adjusted to the offense and defense. So, uh, like I said, we're going to continue to grow, and we'll see where we're at at the end of fall camp. I feel like the confidence level in those receivers is higher, say from a year ago when you guys opened fall camp. Yeah, no doubt, and you know it comes from the work that they put in this off season. And you know it wasn't just you know three of them, four of them. It was the whole receiver core. You know, in here late nights, just working out, just on their own, working on footwork. So. Uh, just kind of seeing them the way they work, and I know their confidence wall is going to be high. Do you feel like Courtney is going to be a versatile guy for you guys this year at Wyden? Uh, I do, and you know his, you know, 
his ability to run routes and also his speed on the field is you know ridiculous. So um, you know I always know him on the offensive side. He's always going to be a trustworthy target. Does it surprise you how kind of laid back and chill uh, Justin is with how aggressive and kind of violent he is on the football field? Uh, at, at times it could surprise me, but I mean he's a terror on the football field, so I guess that's all that matters. You from the running back. Um, I feel like we got a lot of a lot of depth at running back this year, and you know Jay Sean's obviously going to be running with the ones, but you know the depth that we have, I feel like is uh, going to take a lot off Jay Sean and you know keep keep our guys fresh to the end of the year, and also while I'm, you know having great yards and have great great rushing games. One more. Uh, Kelly, y'all were on the brink of making the top ten in the first major preseason poll. What you feel like y'all are on the brink of doing something really special this year? I do, and uh, you know we still got to take it one step at a time. You know we come out here and work so hard this off season, but we got to make it translate to the football field. So um, it doesn't really matter what we do today. You know if we're not going to grow tomorrow and you know throughout fall camp, then it's really not going to matter. But you know we we always going to think we're going to be one of the top teams in the country, but we got to go out and prove it.